So let's look at number two from the worksheet. Um, so we have three non registers. So this one is non register, this one is non register, and this is non register. And we have one unknown register which is X. Okay. So the main principle of Wheatstone Bridge is we <coughs> arrange these registers in such a way that no current flows through this part of the wire, okay? this middle part of the wire. This galvanometer is a meter that measures the current flowing through this path. And it says that the galvanometer is at the balanced condition. That means there is no current flowing. So you have a galvanometer, it has this um, arrow that shows whether there is current or not. So in the balanced condition, it doesn't move up or, uh, to right or left. That means there is no current. Okay, at null condition. It's also called null condition or balanced condition. <coughs> Again, there is no current through um, through the section BD. So that means if there is no current, we know delta V is I R, then there is no uh, potential difference. No current, no potential difference from Ohm's law. That means the potential difference between this point and this point would be zero. In other words, the potential at this point would be same as the potential at that point. So they will be at the same potential. Okay, And look at this point. So this would, this is a common point. So the potential for this part here and potential for this part at this point would be same, okay? Because it's a common point. Well, that means <coughs> the potential difference um, across this section AB. So delta V across BA would be same as potential difference across this section, delta V dA. Okay? Again, because there is no current here, so the potential here and potential here is same. So whenever there is same potential, there is no current flow. Current flows only when there is potential difference. Okay? And this is a common point, so that has the same potential. That means potential difference across these two points would be same as the potential difference across these two points. That's what this is, okay? And potential difference from Ohm's law, we can write this as current times resistance. For BA, current is I1 and resistance is X. So write this as X, that's the resistance. And for this AD's part, current is I2 and resistance is R1. Okay. Now same thing is true for this part. So this in and this point have same potential and this is common potential. That means the potential difference here would be same as the potential difference here. Okay. So what that means is delta V across um, CB would be same as potential difference across uh, D. C. Okay. So this one and this one have same potential, and that's common point. So the difference here is same as the difference here. So potential difference is again I times R in CB. CB is this one. I is I one, and R is R three. Uh, potential difference in DC this section is I two. R is R2. Okay, so let's call that equation one, and let's call that equation two. So divide equation one by two. You get I1 x over I1 R3 is equal to I2 R1 divided by that term I2 R2. 
So I1 and I1 cancel, I2 and I2 cancel. That gives us x is equal to R3. You take this to the numerator here and then R1 over R2. Okay. So that formula gives us the unknown value of the resistor. Okay. Basically, you only need to plug the numbers here. R3 is given. R3 is that. So plug that here, 10 ohms. And then R1 is also given, which is 3 ohms. So plug that in here. And then R2 is also given, which is 2. So plug that in here. And then that will give you the value of unknown resistor. 